UK doctors are warning the government that the National Health Service is broken. In the middle of winter, the under pressure NHS is proving to be a huge political issue for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. This was Phil Cole seeing his daughter Imogen after his latest round of cancer treatment. You OK? But on New Year's Eve, Phil collapsed with flu, needing urgent care. His wife, Sarah, was told that their usual cancer ward in central Birmingham was full, that the only bed available where he could stay isolated was in here, a makeshift cubicle in the plaster room at their local emergency department. It was filthy. Um, there was an old bed in there which the paramedics themselves had to make up. The bed had blood stains on the side of it, drips. Um, the sink was full of used bits and bobs. The floor was filthy um, with stains and tissue paper from previous patients. And I was really worried then because he's so vulnerable and I was really worried that he was going to pick up something else and he was at risk of more infection as well as the flu while we were there, um, which I voiced my concerns. But the staff were inundated and they're as lovely again as the staff where there's nothing they could do. Walsall Healthcare NHS Trust says it apologises to the couple that at very busy times like now, things will occasionally be overlooked. But the warning from the UK's Doctors' Association is far more stark. In an open letter to the Prime Minister, the group representing frontline medics says the NHS is broken. Up to 500 people are dying each week because of delays in emergency NHS care. Staff in hospitals and services across the country have told us they simply cannot cope. We've spoken with a nurse who works on one of the wards at this hospital. She's described the last three weeks to us, saying that they are simply the toughest she has ever seen in her career. She says that staff are trying to do a good job, but it's simply not good enough. And that after every shift, she's had to sign an incident report saying that things are unsafe. This trust told us that demand for their services is very high, that patient safety is a top priority. But there are warnings that even the basics can't be met. Pharmacists say shelves are emptying of common cold and flu medicines due to supply issues. This GP in Cheshire says they've never seen a winter like it. The government today says it is listening, recruiting record numbers of doctors and putting record levels of funding into the service.